Build a skyscraper in 19 days. Or maybe it would be better to seize part of another state without a fight and by mutual consent. Today, you will learn about how China has become a leader in the global construction business, how it makes money on it and sets crazy records and why it needs it. Enjoy watching. 20% of all investment in global construction comes from China. According to analysts, by 2030, the amount that the country will invest in various projects will exceed $13 trillion. But how was China able to achieve such huge numbers? It's all about the country's leadership, which acts as competently as possible. Even in the last century, China was poorly developed. Most of the population lived in villages, and the number of urban residents was very small. This problem had to be solved, since there were more and more people in the country, and the land area could not be increased in any way. Cities with dense buildings and tall buildings could have been a solution to the problem. But at that time, the country did not have the technology to implement such projects. Then the Chinese government made a brilliant decision. It created preferential conditions for foreign companies thanks to which huge investments poured into the country. This made it possible to create favorable conditions for development in a short time. New enterprises with advanced technologies began to emerge in China. Cities were built at a rapid pace and GDP per capita grew at double digits. The country purchased from other countries not products but production technologies. This policy allowed the People's Republic of China to take second place in the world economy and develop construction technologies to the highest level in the world. But why does everyone turn to China specifically to build something? Yes, because they do everything efficiently, quickly, and cheaply. For example, the Chinese built a 57-story skyscraper in their homeland in just 19 days. The speed at which the building was erected was about three floors per day. There is no construction company in any country in the world that could boast of such a result. But how is this even possible? The thing is that the building was erected using modular technology. First, the foundation was prepared at the construction site. It took, of course, more than 19 days, namely several months, but the walls and roofs themselves were built during this time. All the time that the foundation was being prepared, special metal structures were manufactured at a special plant, which were block modules. Their meaning is that you can build a building like a toy constructor, only on a larger scale. Further, when everything was ready for construction at the construction site, all the remaining building materials were brought there, and specially trained workers erected the building in strict sequence. By the way, the design of the building allows it to withstand a magnitude 9 earthquake. The skyscraper has a centralized ventilation, air purification, and air conditioning system. And the cost of such a building is much lower than the classic options. It is because of such records that China took first place in the global construction market. Prefabricated buildings, due to their advantages, are in great demand on the Russian market. One of the organizations that uses this technology in its work is the Production Association System. The company has long established itself in the market as a quality contractor who can complete orders of any complexity. The team consists of only professionals, and a variety of block modules are offered to choose from, ranging from ordinary office premises to complex technical structures. The company operates to strict standards and carefully controls all work processes. You can find out more about the production association system at the link in the description. Another record for the speed of construction of houses also belongs to Chinese construction companies. They were able to build a 10-story residential building in just 29 hours. The house meets all standards and, as the designers note, has a huge margin of safety. Naturally, the cost of constructing such a building is much lower than using classical technologies. The construction technology is exactly the same as in the case of a skyscraper. True, if steel modules were used there, here they are already reinforced concrete. At the construction site, they prepared the foundation in advance then they began to deliver ready-made block modules of residential premises. 
and then simply installed them in the required sequence and secured them. So China set another record in construction. We have already said that the country really needs high quality and fast construction, since it has a limited territory and a very large population. This problem is acutely visible when you enter the real estate market in large cities. Housing prices on specialized sites may shock you, as they are among the highest. But this is not the only reason why China is so diligently studying new technologies. It is also a very profitable business. Take Africa, for example. There are many countries in it that have problems with money and science. They are not able to build, for example, a dam on their own. Therefore, they turn to foreign construction companies. This is where China comes into the picture. It offers the best conditions for both construction and lending. Other states take advantage of this. But where is the income here? It's simple. African countries cannot always pay their loans regularly. They already have little money. And then there are expensive buildings. It also happened that a country hoped to attract a lot of money by building a new port. But these expectations were not met. By the way, this port was built by the Chinese, and it is located in Sri Lanka. China forgave this debt, but on the condition that this port would come under their control and ownership for 99 years. And its location is so favorable that it was not a big problem for the People's Republic of China to promote trade in it and receive huge incomes. This is not the only time China has taken such steps. Perhaps these are their strategies for conquering the world when weaker states will be forced to give their lands for use. For example, in that same ill-fated port, both locals and the Chinese themselves work. But the locals' salaries are several times lower, and they do not occupy high positions. This is how China builds its business based on construction. 